Call of Duty is a shadow of its former glory. There have been lots of contributing factors to this, but the main one is the change in setting. Call of Duty's timeline has been steadily and surely going into the future. It went from World War II in its original game all the way to the far future in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. People were okay with the initial time gap from COD 3 to Modern Warfare because it wasn't too drastic and the game was still similar and also the new COD games were still really good. But after Modern Warfare, the series kept traveling further and further into the future until it was barely recognizable anymore. Activision has suffered incredible amounts of backlash for this, and they have finally decided to go back to COD's roots with COD World War II, the most uncreative video game name ever. But can this game bring COD back to its former glory? I believe it quite possibly could. I can already say that this game will do well financially, at least better than Infant Warfare. People are interested in this game, and they see this return to form as a good thing, so I suspect many will return to the franchise. But although it looks like this game will do well financially and sales-wise, that won't be enough. Call of Duty World War II still has to be a good game. A return to form won't be enough. The setting slash style of a game doesn't guarantee its success. If it turns out to be another sucky game, then it may be the straw that finally broke the camel's back. It's no secret that people don't trust Activision. They have shown time and time again that they can't be trusted. They have repeatedly produced games that people don't like and don't want, such as Destiny and the newer futuristic Call of Duty games. If this game turns out to be a dirty cash grab just to feed off the nostalgia of classic COD fans, then people will lose face in Activision, and I genuinely believe that it may be the end for Call of Duty. Sure, it may generate enough revenue to justify one more sequel or even two more, but when that only sells a few thousand copies, it will spell the end for COD. I don't think Activision is going to completely mess it up, but I don't have a lot of confidence in them either. So, no pressure Activision. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content just like it. And like this video up. Liking the video helps more people to see it, so by doing that you promote my content. Alright guys, see you in the next video, Bye bye